All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of All the Mod 6. I hope everyone's doing great today. I know that I am. We're hopping right back on into our game save here. And we have been streaming it over on Twitch. If you're interested in catching the full recaps, you can get the link in the description down below to take you right over there and you can catch up on the last few streams. I don't know how long it holds them for. I think it's like 30 days. So plenty of time to catch up on any of those if you are interested. But I am going to run through just a few items really quickly with you guys, um, just to kind of get us on the same page here. So in the last two episodes, we have done a bunch of Batania. As you can see, we're looking at it right now. Now with Batania, I've mentioned before, I know it's not a new mod. I know it's pretty, pretty stale at this point. A lot of the base things for it have been explored. You guys have probably seen them before or done them yourselves before or whatever it may be. So it's not the most entertaining. So I do appreciate the support on the last two episodes. And it is something that we do need to go through in order to get to what our ultimate goal is, which is the angel ring, because this will give us pretty much creative flight, which is what we really, really want. I want to get off of this jetpack. I want to have a full set of armor. And this angel ring is going to allow us to get there. So let me run you through real quick, though, what we did on stream. So uh, first, actually going off of the angel ring here, we have gotten some of the components for it together, progressing towards that point. Um, and I think that is actually how the direction of Batania is going to go from this point forward is I'll do a lot of stuff off camera to help progress ourselves towards the angel ring. Um, and then once we get there, I'll bring you guys back for it. So we do have one block of Terra Steel. We do need two more, which it just takes a lot of mana to do. So I'm going to consistently build up a good amount so we can get those going. We do still need our nether stars, which we might be getting to today. Um, we do need some pixie dust, which is very, very easy to make. And then finally, the diamond ring is going to be one of the more expensive items to make. But we actually have most everything we need for it. If we come back over here to our uh, base, we just need to be a little, a little bit closer for this. And I pull this up. As you can see, the only thing that we are missing is our Alatra. I think I'm pronouncing it right. But that is all we still need. So we're going to have to go to the end and find that to get the diamond ring. And then other than that, it's pretty much just progressing in Batania and getting mana together, getting some nether stars, and then a fighting Gaia. And that's all. And in order to fight Gaia, we do need these pylons, which we need elf steel pylons for, which we need Natura pylons for, which means we do need some more Terra steel other than just the three blocks. So with that being said, let me show you what I have done over here. So first and foremost, as you guys saw, we do have our automated system up and going now, um, which is really, really nice. And as you can see in here, we do have a decent amount of stuff, but we're running low on our coal. So we're going to have to take advantage, uh, take care of that relatively soon. But we're going to show you something really, really useful for you guys in just a minute here. The nice thing we did get up and going are these elven mana spreaders. These are very similar to our normal mana spreaders, but they are a little bit more efficient in getting mana uh, collected and then um, distributing them to our mana splitter and into our pools here. And as you can see, they are building up a decent amount of mana thus far. The other things I have gotten going, or I have got going now, are these Rosa Arcana. And I do believe I mentioned them in the last episode, uh, but I'm going to run through it real quick again just to explain it to you guys. So these will actually take your experience levels and then turn them into mana, which with us having 182 experience levels, that's easy peasy to do. And I'd be curious to know if you could set up some kind of way to have this actually be automated from a storage system, um, which would be really, really nice. So we could just put some storage stuff down here with our experience in it, and then it'd be collected by this flower. Um, for the time being, we have to be actually close to each one. As you can see, that was down below, like it was at nothing. And now that we're standing pretty much right next to it, it fills up with the um, stuff it needs so and I only have three of them up and going because they are relatively expensive to make so and our mana pools are getting there so um the only other thing that we have gotten up and going is this setup over here which is the mana infuser this is replacing our terrestrial algomoration plate maybe I know will on the last episode left a comment trying to trying to himself explain how it's it's probably pronounced and uh, I dude I'm in the same boat I have no idea I mean we can get close but we're probably going to be off a little bit on it which is fine you guys can see what we are looking at here but yeah we did get this mana infuser up and going which is very similar to the other one that we had before in layout but just different materials this time around so you do need some shimmer rock you'll need five pieces that's going to replace your living rock that you had there blocks of gold are going to replace the blocks of lapis lazuli that you had there. I know I'm mispronouncing it, but I do every single time. And then obviously the mana infuser, which is going to be the most expensive part of it because you do need a bunch of ruins. And we did do that all on stream. So if you guys are interested in 
seeing how that all was done. Again, I highly recommend checking out the recaps from it. There is one specific item I do want to note that could be helpful to you as you are progressing through this. The one rune that you do need is the rune of Asgard. And now with this one, you do need to use a rod of Bifrost for it. And this does consume the rod of Bifrost. So what I would recommend doing, because you do need it for other components of the setup, specifically the Shimmer Rock, is get that rod up and going and then use it to make your Bifrost blocks. You will need five of these and you do need elf glass in order to do it. Elf glass is made from tossing mana glass through your portal there. Mana glass, you just toss it in a mana pool. Very, very straightforward. So, I don't know, can we make a mana tablet, a creative one? It looks like we could actually make a creative, oh, you need creative essence. And can we make this? You can in a pressurized chamber with fey essence. Pure, okay, your spirit, antimatter pellets, and insanium blocks. Okay, that'd be crazy to get to that point in time in the in the pack, but it's possible. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So easy to get distracted on things here. But anyway, so yeah, I would highly recommend getting your Bifrost blocks up and going for your Shimmer Rock before you utilize it to make the ruin. That's about it. So with that being said, this is another item I did want to eventually make, but for the time being, it's perfectly fine. We don't need to utilize it. So... That is pretty much our setup. The only thing I do want to mention on top of that is, as you guys know, with these sparks, you need four of them over here on top of each of our mana pools. Obviously, your number will vary depending on how many mana pools that you have up and going. And then you need one on top of the actual plate itself. Now, with this one, with the base plate that we were using before, you could use a regular old spark and it'd be perfectly fine. However, with this mana infuser, you do need to upgrade it to a dominant spark. So you just need to make up one of these. It's very straightforward. It's a mana steel pixie dust and runes of fire or a rune of fire. And then you just click it onto the spark to make it a dominant spark. Very straightforward. It's just a kind of little specific thing that you need to know with this setup. So but with that being said, that is pretty much everything that we got going on here. So. We are going to move right along then to what we're doing today. So you might be wondering then what we are doing today since we are kind of taking a break from Batania and hopefully some away from some crafting today. I, I want to try to have a fun, adventurous episode rather than having something that is very typical of what we've been doing of late. So there's one item that I want to get going here, which is the teleport pad. This will actually take you to two different dimensions depending on what um what dimension you are in took me a second there so it'll take you to the mining dimension and it will take you to other places so let's start with the first one i've actually crafted these up you do need all the modium for it um but to get there all you got to do is place it down which i have placed ours over in our nice little area oh we have a trader here just hanging out what do you got on you Ew. R runic tome dark utilities rename a tool to use runelic when used in a smithing table hell infusion what looting that is actually really good i kind of want to grab these all right give me one second here all right so i was able to get the uh runic runelic tome which looks really interesting we're going to test it here in just a second uh, but i am a scrub and i do not have enough emeralds to get the actual pickaxe, which I really would like to. Ooh, this guy disappeared too. Well, he took his potion. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to shift. I think I, can I not, can I not capture him in a, oh, oh maybe I can't get him. Oh, that's going to be a bummer. I thought you were able to capture him in a mob imprisonment tool, but maybe I am wrong. This is really awesome. The hell infusion looks really cool on it. And the capturing really looks awesome because then you have a chance to drop certain eggs. Maybe it's the llamas that are messing it up. What if I kill his llamas? Where'd he go? Get back here. Where'd he go? Did he disappear? I've lost him. There he is. You can see him with his... Yeah. Is he mad at me? He's probably really mad at me because I killed his pets. Oh, maybe you can't. Okay, well, that's kind of, that's dumb. I thought I could use a mob imprisonment tool on him. All right, well, whatever. So let's actually take this then and see what it does really quickly before we jump into what we're doing then, because I think this could be really cool. So we got to go to our smithing table, which I don't know why I keep over here. I just keep it over here for some reason. 
Um, and let's use our pick. Why not? So we'll take that. We'll take that. And it just makes it all sorts of crazy numbers and stuff like that, which is actually kind of cool. So um, I'm, I'm going to put it on there. Why not? Let's make it look extremely unnecessarily interesting there. I'll get back to the other stuff in, in later. I'll explain some other stuff later. So anywho, let's hop down here. We're getting distracted. And let's head to the mining dimension. So I have our telepad set down right here. All you got to do is shift and right click on it. And it's going to take you to the mining dimension. Now, I have already been here. And that is why this is set up like so. Um, and that's why I already had these placed down. And I did set up a waystone here. You can use waystones cross-dimensional like this. So if you didn't want to even use the telepad, you could put this bad boy down and it would work for you perfectly fine. So as you can see, this is an extremely flat dimension here, hence the mining dimension. But it's a great place to come if you are looking for different, um, not only like plants like this one, but botania plants as well, because you can find a bunch of botania flowers here. Um, so it's a great place to pick these guys up. Now, I'm not aware if the... Um, Oh, this is nature's aura. You can find Batania plants here as well, though. Um, but I'm not sure if villages do spawn in the mining dimension or not. I thought they did. Um, so you, you guys will have to do a little bit of looking on your own to, to validate that. But as you can see, there are certain trees that do spawn here. Um, and those are from Ars Nuova. I believe it's pronounced. I, again, another item that I could very easily be mispronouncing. But at least I'll admit it. I know I'm not an expert in any of this stuff, so... But yeah, it's a great area to come to if you don't uh, mind uh, like destroying the environment pretty much around you. I know on the overworld, that's the biggest problem. Yeah, these are from Ars Nuova. Um, you don't put down like strip mines or anything like that that would destroy the physical ground because obviously you're going to be by it and you don't want it to be ugly. So it's a great place to come and mine. It's very straightforward. Nothing too crazy. Something that you guys have probably seen before. Uh, I do recommend putting a waypoint though on your portal so you can easily get home if necessary. So we are actually going to use our um, waystone here to get back to the swamp. And then from here, actually, we probably should just head right to our next location, which is our nether portal. Now, with this, I could move it inside. I could move our um, waystone to be in the nether itself rather than being outside and us having to transport in like that. But I kind of like being able to see the outside of it. I think our nether portal is pretty cool. So this is where the differentiation then comes in with the, which actually we need to turn our magnet back on because we're not over by our Batania stuff anymore. This is where the differentiation becomes, uh, comes into play with these portals. So in the overworld, when you place it down, you go to the mining dimension. Well, if you place it down in the nether and you shift and right click once again, it brings you to the other dimension, which is a very, very interesting dimension. And as you can see, I've already been here as well. I just wanted to get things set up here. And I actually have discovered quite a few interesting quirks of this area. So first and foremost, you can see it looks a lot like the nether, at least down here. And we actually got relatively lucky and spawned in an area that uh, has another fortress here. But one item that I have been extremely low on resource wise, has not only been coal, but also iron. We use a lot of iron in our setup. Now, I have realized something relatively cool about this dimension. As you can see, the ores are named different. This is other iron ore from all the ores. Same with this copper, all the ores. Same with, uh, not that, but same with like the tin um, and the zinc and everything in here. It's from a different mod. With that being said, it gives different yield, which is awesome. So what I have is set up in here for our dank to collect iron. I also have it to collect blocks of coal, and I'll get to that in a second. So for iron, we have one block of iron, right? Now, if I mine this out, I do want to mention, though, I do have Fortune 7 on there. Typically, it doesn't make a difference with iron, but let me show you what happens here. So we'll mine this nice vein out here. And it was a decent amount, right? Probably maybe 20 blocks tops, if that. Let's take a look at our dank. We have 80 pieces of iron. We got 79 pieces of iron from that one vein. Yes, and it's normal iron. So what we can do with this is go through our normal smelting process that we have set up. So we go through our um, pulverizer. We'll get two of them. So basically our double yield. Now there are other ways that we could even yield this higher if we went through mechanism, but that's a whole other thing we're not going to get into. But this, I know this isn't called the mining dimension, but I think this is the dimension that you're going to want to be in if you want to 
collect ores and find good resources because i mean right there we've bumped up to almost 200 pieces of iron yeah 200 pieces of iron this is the dimension to be in now we could get some copper here and as you can see right off the bat there we got 50 pieces of copper and we could keep going through and doing the same now the other interesting part of this which if i can find some i will show you guys is the coal uh, because the coal is very very interesting in how it drops so what do we have down here some prosperity some of that all right let me find some coal real quick all right guys i was actually able to find some coal here um and as you can see we have quite a few blocks of coal in our inventory now you would think that mining coal here uh would just yield normal coal well we have 144 blocks let's mine this out i don't know how big of a vein this is it's not huge maybe like nine blocks total two four six eight maybe 16 let's see what we get from this so i'll vein mine it out yeah it looks like it was probably 16 if i'm doing my math right here i don't know why i can't jump into that it's interesting but let's take a peek now at what we have in here 208 blocks of coal blocks of coal like if we take this, I'll take one of these, right? And we'll throw it in here. It yields nine pieces of coal from it. So, yeah, it's this is pretty crazy. And the other reason that this might be a good mining dimension for you guys, other than the normal mining dimension, is for this. Let me show you here. So, we're not too far from our area. And look at all of the ores. That is right, guys. I mean, like, holy smokes at just the amount of different ores that you can find in this other dimension. I mean, I think that's going to be it right there. I think that's going to be our thumbnail. Like, look at all of the ores there, um, which I mean, it makes sense because it is called all the ores. That's the mod that that we're that spawns in all of these. But I mean, seriously, if you guys need some ores, this is the place to come to get it. I mean, we are just being able to pick up everything and I definitely would recommend having a dank on hand because you're going to go through um, a lot of inventory very, very quickly here. So we could probably take out some of these items that we really don't need in our dank right now um, just to free up a little bit of space for all of these ores that we're finding here, which is crazy. Now, the other thing in this dimension, which it's supposed to be here, which I have actually had zero luck with, and maybe I just need to spend some more time looking for, is you can uh, supposedly find dragons here. Um, but I haven't had as much luck with it, unfortunately, and I don't know why that is the case. Uh, but there are some other mobs here. Now, I, it could be the version that I am running on. Um, they maybe had some issues with it and took it out or whatever it may be. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on it, but yeah, uh, definitely come here and do some mining because you are going to find all of the ores that you are going to need. I mean, this is just extremely insane, extremely insane. I don't even, I I mean, we could look at like how much, let's look at how much iron we've picked up. Almost a thousand, almost a thousand blocks of iron or copper. Wow, copper and iron, they're both up there pretty high. With the amount that we've been able to pick up in this short period of time and look at this there's even more coal here more copper i mean iron's the big thing you guys know that like in the in these kinds of mod packs it's always iron that they use a lot of now the other cool thing with this that you can find here which i saw it earlier there it is over here you can find diamonds at a relatively high level here so we could grab that and these do yield a relatively high amount of diamonds from them as well so Again, something extremely, extremely cool. There's also redstone, as you guys probably saw briefly as I as I went past it there. But yeah, so and there's some more diamonds right over there. So let's get, let's grab this bad boy right here. Let's see how is our diamond count doing? 52 diamonds just from this little area. There's even more right here. So especially if you find one of these underground veins like this, it's it's going to be extremely useful for you. And we can even come all the way down to the bottom here and look around as well ores and stuff so but with that being said let's make our way to the surface and show you guys what it looks like topside all right guys we have made our way to the surface here um and as you may notice i am flying extremely high up here i mean to be fair the top level of this is already pretty high up as it is um and then i am even higher up because there are some nasty 
mobs that spawn here that I really just don't want to have to deal with right now. Um, and I think, unfortunately, like there's some really cool environments that you can find, different biomes and things like that. But I have not had luck looking around and finding any kind of dragon or like extreme mob like that, which is a little bit surprising. Again, like I mentioned just a second ago, it could be like the version. Maybe they had some issues where they took them out or like decreased the spawn on them. But yeah, I haven't had any luck finding them. But yeah, you can look around and find a bunch of like, look at this biome right here. We've, we've already found like a whole bunch of stuff. And look at that, there's some Vibramium right there as well. So this is another good place to come and find Vibramium if you're looking for it. Um, Because there's a whole slew of it. Look at that, there's some diamonds right here too. That spawned pretty high up. Yeah, this is, this is the mining dimension. The mining dimension that you have the availability to go to is not the actual mining dimension. This is the place that you want to be at. This is where you're going to find a bunch of good stuff and find it very, very easily. Um, now, I think the, the idea behind it is that there are these harder mobs here that are supposed to spawn that will make it a little bit difficult, more difficult for you to be in this dimension for a long period of time. But again, I am not finding any like this is strange. I guess I'll hover around for a little bit longer. And then other than that, we're going to move on to our next thing. All right, guys. So I may have found where what we're looking for here. Um, I definitely heard it. This is a very interesting biome to say the least um it is a basalt biome oh my god there it is it's a dragon which these things have like twenty thousand health like there's no way that we're taking on a dragon right now but this is uh i mean we found it look at these like the basalt deltas is where we're at and we have found ourselves a dragon here um i don't know can we get into f1 here and maybe possibly get like a good picture of this guy we're not gonna die from him i don't think i think we'll be relatively fine we just need to keep moving jeez the, the just the ear destroyer of the day right here um we probably can get something decent from that oh my gosh we did die no oh all right give me one second let me get back to our stuff all right i got our stuff and we're getting out of there we are getting out of there asap yeah, so those guys have 20,000 health. Um, realistically, we can't take them on right now. There's just no way. Oh, can we take this guy out really easily? No, not with this. We can with our sword, though. But yeah, there's just no way that we can take them on in our current state. So what we're going to do is that will be something to progress towards, obviously. We're going to get out of here. It's been a fun time in this dimension, but we're going to head back to our swamp. So as you can see, yeah. There are dragons that we can find there, um, which is really, really awesome. Um, and it'll be really cool once we can actually take them out. 20,000 is uh, quite a bit of health, though. So we'll see how long it's going to take us to actually get to that point in time where we can take them out. But with that being said, we can drop off a bunch of stuff. We have picked up a good amount of items as well. Some stuff I actually picked up before I even started recording when I was going and checking out those dimensions. We do have a uh, cock cockatrice i and then a ironclad diamond boot that's uncommon very interesting so we'll put those away next what we're gonna do let's see wither we do have some fragments let's see what we got to do for fragments i think we have enough to get uh we have enough to get two skulls uh we need one more can we use these for anything can we make some more skulls? I wish I, I, I'm surprised that we don't have any. With the amount that I've taken out, I would have thought that we would have had enough. So I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit of hunting to get some more wither skeleton skulls here. Before we do go hunting for those skulls, I did just want to show you really quickly what we were dealing with in terms of ores. Yeah. Like, that's insane. That is the dimension to go if you need resources. So, all right, let me go get those wither skeleton skulls. All right, guys, so we should have just about everything that we need here. So I have five skulls. I want six, obviously, because we want to fight two of them. Um, but I was looking up the recipe to actually make these. And you can actually make wither skeleton skulls as long as you have withered ribs with a skeleton skull. So I don't know if I do have... I don't think I even have any skeleton skulls. So it's kind of a bummer that we don't have that. But I have picked up enough fragments here that um, we can get one more going just like so. Now, the other thing we're gonna need is then soul sand. 
uh, which I have picked up a little bit of that, just like so, and we should be good to go. Now, you might be wondering, where are we going to do this? Well, the mining dimension, for sure. Um, this is going to be the best place where we can pretty much guarantee that we will be perfectly fine. So, let's get this put down just like so, and we are going to hop, hop, and hippity hop hop like so and we should be good this should not be a hard fight our inventory is pretty much freed up so we should be all set all right here we go i did turn my engine off i accidentally didn't mean to do that but he should not be hard to take out yeah look at that three hits that's all it took was three hits and we did get our nether star there so we're gonna place another boy just right here next to him where that other one spawned and get this guy going as well like i said very very easy fight to go through here for us with our equipment and our armor that we currently have rocking right now so here we go four hits right four hits is all it took and they're down did we get our nether star we did so that is going to check off the box there as well for that specific part of our angel ring so what we can do is easily just put those there and then if we go into our angel ring we can see we are slowly but surely getting there we still don't have our diamond ring um obviously because we do need our um elatra and we're gonna have to go and do some hunting for that so i guess i could do right here at the end of the episode look around a little bit for an end city and hopefully find what we need all right, guys, we have found what we are looking for here, an end city, even with a boat, too. I don't know. I think these are standard. If you find the city, you'll find one of these boys as well. All right, let's avoid that. Let's at least get undercover because if that comes down here, potions of healing. Interesting. OK, Ugh, I hate these, but we're looking for one specific item, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. I was able to actually find a map that took me here, which is really nice. Um, you don't always have that much luck with with finding maps that'll bring you right to where you need to go. But this is gonna have everything we need in it. Mana boost, miner's fever, nature's bend, mana regen. Um, I don't really know if we need that horse armor. I don't think we really need any of those other things either. Ooh, an orb of temporary flight. So five minutes of temporary flight. That would be actually kind of nice. Um, experience boost, mending, efficiency. That has some good items on it. We'll take that. And then that is what we came here for right to there. Let's grab it. And then we can explore a little bit more if we want to and see what else we can find here. Jeez, what is making all this racket? Something's making a lot of racket around here. Um, really? Yeah, starting from the... Starting from the top and moving our way down is probably going to be one of the best things for us to do here. Get this guy taken out. And we could take a peek here. We do have a chest... Um, we do have a dragon scale in here. Okay. Um, an enderman heart. That actually would be really good. Mana regen. We don't really need that. We don't need the raw air shard either. We also have an ender chest here, but those aren't too hard to come by. We could even make them pretty easily ourselves. All right. Let's see. What else do we have around here? Anything good? Well, they're not that guy. That guy's not good. So I don't think there's anything typically at the top on these. Um, there is a chest right here, though. We'll get this guy taken out, get that guy taken out. Tombstone, Soulbound, some of those, nothing too crazy. Um, if I could get down there, I would take these guys out. All right, guys, so we did full explore, obviously found the piece that we needed. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll probably head back to the base and craft up that ring. I'm not going to do it on camera. You guys already know what it's going to be, so it's nothing too crazy. So we're going to actually wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. I know it was a little bit different episode, but going out and just kind of checking some boxes on some things that we needed to do um, is really cool. And hopefully you guys do get some use out of that other dimension because that is a great place to go and mine for resources. A little bit overpowered now that I'm thinking about it. Considering we got almost 2,000 chunks of ore, chunks of iron ore, only iron ore, we got way more than that on other ores, but chunks of iron ore from there, which is, uh, yeah, that equals about 4,000 iron ore pieces once it all gets melted up, said and done. So, hopefully you guys can take advantage of it yourself and uh, enjoy it as well, um, and just keep an eye out. Maybe by the time you're watching this, they've nerfed it. I don't know. But if you do want to follow along, 
Uh, with the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Let you know every single time a new episode is posted here on the channel. We did just hit our 1,000 subscriber mark, so I do appreciate all of you who have been following along and contributing to the community in one way or the other, be it here on YouTube, be it over on Twitch, or in the Discord, which we have linked down below. That is open to anyone who wants to join in in the community. It is not, um, you know, sanctioned off to, to any specific person. If you want to hang out, ask questions, have a nice time, I definitely recommend joining up in the Discord. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it so very much. And I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy.